Emergency Management BC, Environment Canada, and the City held a Tsunami Public Education Forum in Prince Rupert on Thursday to better prepare and educate Rupertites on the risk of a tsunami. Confident that you will be a survival story if and when that next uh, large tsunami comes. And the way that we recommend you, you be a survival story is that first you know your risk, and that's what you folks are here today doing. The form included a presentation on general tsunami information by Taryn Moore from Emergency Management BC, as well as information on tsunami notifications by Environment Canada's Anne McCarthy. Uh, the national, we can say with certainty every 500 years, but then we add that uncertainty plus or minus 200 years. Mm -hmm. And so for us, it doesn't do us all that much good, except to say we know it's possible and we have to be ready for it. For tsunami alert, if it's either an advisory, the strong currents, don't go swimming sort of a thing, or a full-scale warning, we color an area red. If it's into a watch, we color it yellow. And as we take the warnings down, we color them green for about an hour afterwards. Prince Rupert Fire Chief Dave McKenzie, who's in charge of Prince Rupert's emergency plan, said people need to be self-sufficient following an emergency. Uh, you should be, be able to be self-sufficient for 72 hours. Uh, you should have things like water, uh, food, Clothing, uh, anything, cash is always a good thing to have. Debit machines may not work if there's a major power outage. For the northernview.com, I'm Martina Perry.